We start tonight with breaking news. A 12 hour long hostage situation at a Dallas area synagogue has come to an end. Governor Greg Abbott tweeted about an hour ago that all four hostages are out alive and safe and local officials have confirmed that information. It's all unfolding in Colleyville at the congregation Beth Israel. KVU's Hank Cavanero joins us live from outside the synagogue. Hank, this was an active situation for almost the entire day. What are you seeing out there right now, now that the hostages have been confirmed safe? Yeah, Jake, so we did get that information from the governor and now local police. Now this happened behind me at the uh, synagogue back there, and this has been happening since 1040. Uh, but right around 915, I just kind of want to fill you in. When we were here, we did hear a loud bang. And then shortly after is when the governor tweeted saying that all hostages were out. 955 is when we heard from local uh, law enforcement. But let's take a look at what led to this. Now this is video from earlier in the day. Again, at 1040 this morning, Colleyville police received a call saying that there was a man whose identity uh, has still not been released to the public, holding hostages inside Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue. Now, according to ABC and the AP, there were at least four hostages, including the rabbi. One of those was released unharmed a little after five o'clock this evening. And as we just found out about 30 minutes ago, all are now out and safe. Now, a representative from Secure Community Network was hoping for this and hoping what we were all hoping for, that this was a peaceful resolution. We are, are the world Jewish community is, is so deeply concerned for the people inside that building, for the man who took them, and for the families of those parishioners or congregants and the rabbi that is inside. And we are here to support them in any way we can. The entire Jewish world understands and knows about this incident. I've had many calls from Israel, and we are here to support the community in any way we can. Again, just to recap, the governor tweeted earlier this evening, followed up by Colleyville Police Department, saying that the three remaining hostages have been released, something many were hoping for, especially since all Jake have been uh, unharmed in this process. Hank, so ABC reporting that the suspect is the brother of a neuroscientist who's currently in jail at an Air Force base in Fort Worth. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so uh, we, there was an early report that the organization called the Council of, on American Islamic Resolutions down in Houston actually said that they've talked to the brother and he wasn't anywhere in the DFW area. Now that organization went on to say that they condemned the hostage situation that was happening here in Colleyville and that it has nothing to do with the doctor, uh, with the free Dr. Afia uh, push from, from her family and others in that community, Jake. All right, Hank Cavanero, thank you so much. A great update that we've been waiting for all day. All right, you be safe out there. Today's incident hits home here in Austin. It was just three months ago when a fire was set at the local congregation Beth Israel. And that isn't the only hateful incident that's happened in Austin recently. Over the last few months, anti-Semitic stickers were posted at parks and on school buildings. Graffiti displayed hateful messages on school property and banners over Mopac. According to ATX Kind, during Hanukkah, some Jewish families also reported smashed windows when displaying their menorah.